I'm extra, yeah, yeah, I'm extra. I'm extra, yeah, yeah, I'm... Hello, everybody. My name is Miss Kevin Stage. Welcome to my channel. Um, as you all know, I have just recently started a YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about motivational videos, but I also like makeup. Yes, it's true. So today, I'm just going to be testing out some new products. I have been in a season of extraness. I'm literally doing nothing today but helping my son do a um, school project. And I decided I also want to look fabulous while doing it. So I'm going to film this video for you guys. So I have some new products that I want to try out. And yeah, so let's just get to it. So Huda Beauty just launched, which by the way, she's starting to be one of my favorite new brands. These are her... Beauty Beauty Obsessions. They're like these little, small, teeny weeny 10 packs, I think, of eyeshadows. They have all different brands. They have, or all different themes. So this is Smoky, Warm Brown, and Mauve. And she also has like an electric palette um, color scheme with like really loud, bright colors. Not my thing. So here's the Obsessions color scheme. Really pretty colors. I really like that. Um, warm browns right up my alley Ooh, so there's that one Ooh, those are nice and then this is mob uh, mob obsessions so this is more of like a purpley tone Ooh, that's really pretty yeah so we're gonna be using um, probably the warm browns and mob obsessions I think if you are a makeup lover or someone in your family is a makeup lover or you're new to makeup but you don't want to spend 50 some dollars for a palette these little deals are so wonderful you get three six nine colors um very color coordinated so they go together you'll have your transition color your crease color a lid color which is great it's like a travel palette or a complete palette and they're 27 dollars um yes they're small but in reality who uses a full eyeshadow palette not many people uh, for the most part unless you're like a makeup artist so these are perfect and I have like the Whitney Houston sweat lip going on let me turn on the fan hold all right so the first thing we're going to do is prime I always want to prime your face first it just prepares the skin for the foundation I'm using the NYX Angel Veil skin perfecting primer this is a great primer that I have really been loving lately and I don't have a mirror so I'm just going to place a little drop on my back of my hand and I like to just apply it to the places that I primarily get oily. I really like this primer. It just makes your skin feel so soft, so smooth, and it just makes applying foundation so easy. I always like to apply my primer first so that way it can sit into the skin and kind of activate and do what it needs to do. So next what we're gonna do is brows. My brows are hideous. I actually have an appointment today in a few hours to get them done. I always let them grow out pretty thick or at least way past the normal point that most people go get their eyebrows done just because I have thinner eyebrows and I don't want to over wax them, causing them to thin out. Oh, and I got braids. Yeah, I got braids because, listen, I'm trying to do this whole natural thing and honestly you guys don't hate me but in January uh, when we go we're starting a tour if you don't know about it you should check out kevonstage.com uh, and we're me and my husband are going to go on a love hour tour and we're also going to have a comedy show and I just think that me trying to be natural and be on this tour is not going to be the easiest thing for me personally you know me myself personally so um i'm gonna go back short okay so right now what i'm going to do is conceal my brows or carve them out on the bottom to make them sharp so it's less obvious that i need them done i'm using la girl pro concealer in the color warm honey normally i would use fawn i hate when you first open these and it has that liquid that comes out shake it up a little bit um normally i would use fawn but um, I grabbed this, so this is what we're using. Um, so now what we're going to do is take an angled brush. This is the Morphe M160 brush, and we're just going to put a little bit of product on here. Start from the bottom and just carve out your brow. 
This is going to give it that really crisp, just got your eyebrows wax look, even though I haven't had mine done in probably three months. Yes, I wait that long. So I just carve out the bottom part of my brow and then I pull the product down. I raise my eyebrow just a little bit just to make sure this blends out nicely. I also use concealer as a primer for my eyeshadow. And what this does is cancel out, you can see the discoloration in my eyelid, which everyone has. Even if you're fair skin, you may have discoloration or your veins may show. So this cancels that out so your eyeshadow can adhere nicely and you'll get the true pigment and the true color of the eyeshadow that you see in the pan and it won't be discolored and it also helps your eyeshadow not crease throughout the day and it makes it more vibrant and i just killed that brow i mean come on this is um m504 brush this is one of my favorite blending brushes of all time and i just use this to blend the product out Ooh, child Woo. okay okay you feeling some type of way or not? I mean, the level of slayage in these brows right now, I should have did a brow tutorial. Now what you want to do is set your brows in place, or I'm sorry, set the concealer in place. So I'm using the Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder in the color translucent, and a Real Techniques, I don't know what this is, blending brush. It's probably a powder brush, actually. Powder brush makes sense. And I'm just gonna dip the product in tap off the excess and set that concealer in place. This will help get rid of that creamy consistency so you're not shiny underneath your brows. And it will help lock in the concealer which will help prevent creasing from your eyeshadow. And if you have oily brows, or oily brows, if you have oily lids and they tend to crease throughout the day, this will help that. Okay, that's done. I mean, come through brows, come all the way through um, okay. i'm gonna start with the warm brown and we're gonna use this burnt orange shade up here because obviously melissa loves a warm crease we're gonna take that same morphe m504 brush dip your brush in there just a little get, get a little product on there top off the excess and you're going to put this right in the upper crease a little bit on your brow bone but not in the arch of the brow and this will serve as your transition color I like to use a, ooh, that's pigmented. I like to use a big fluffy brush because I have a lot of space here. And you wanna concentrate the color more on the outside of the brow. And then as the product kinda of starts to wear out, then you can pull it forward. And I'm gonna extend this out and then pull it forward. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take a angled brush this is a little bit of a thicker angled brush. This is the Morphe E11 brush. And I'm gonna take this deep plum color here. This is really pretty. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of product on here and I'm going to go from my bottom lash line up and create almost like a wing liner effect. And then straight line forward. And I'm doing this to create my smoke. I'm gonna do a smoky eye, and I want this to extend out and I want it to be neat. It'll almost look like a cut crease, but the point is not really to do a cut crease. So I'm taking my bottom lash line, drawing a line, just following the natural curvature of that. Make sure these are even. And I'm gonna take it above the fold of my eye, so on my upper crease area, and then pull it forward till it meets where my eye naturally curves right here. Then what I'm going to do is take a small <clears throat> fluffy brush, much smaller than my M504 brush. You can see the difference. This is the Morphe R39 brush, and I'm gonna fill in that triangle area. I'm gonna mix these two. This is the Warm Browns palette, and I'm gonna mix these two here. I feel like this is gonna be too dark, but this is too light. And take a little bit of product on the brush, top off the excess, and that triangle that we made, I'm gonna fill that in. A little bit on the mobile part of the lid. 
and then right around the crease of my eyes, concentrating on my outer V area. So that V that I made. And don't be afraid to pull it onto your mobile eyelid because we're gonna clean that up anyway. Now, each time you take a brush, you wanna get a little bit tighter. So always think a little lower is the point. And that's how you create that gradient effect. You don't wanna put product one on top of each other. That defeats the purpose. You wanna go a little bit lower so you can see the orange, you can see the purple, and now you can see this darker color, which is what you want when you're doing a smoky eye. Smoky eye is nothing but layers of color, gradient of color. So now what I'm gonna do is take a even smaller brush that has a little bit of give to it so you can see the order of my brushes. This is my first transition color, wash of color all the way around. This is the next, just on my outer V. And then I'm taking this one. You can see how they keep getting smaller and smaller, more detailed work. So now what I'm going to do, I'm trying to use only two, but I really wanna go on the smoky palette. And I don't want you guys to have to spend, you know, get three different palettes. Uh, this has a little bit of kickback, but I don't mind it because the pigmentation on this is amazing. This is this is good stuff. Okay, so I'm using the, I don't know because there's no name, but it's just like a dome pencil brush, but it's a little thick. And we're just going to dip into this deep color here, this color right here, this kind of, um, it's a brown color, almost has a warm, actually no, I would say a cool undertone to it. And we're going to go right at the curvature of the eye just to darken this up just a little bit again don't be afraid to pull this onto the mobile eyelid and you want a brush that has a little bit of give so it's not super stiff but you want to be able to pack on the color too and the thicker denser the bristles the more you can pack on color and kind of soften up those edges just a little bit i'm going to take this plummy color from the warm browns palette and add this to my lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out and this should line with that line right there go all the way around so it's all connected and i'm taking the morphe r39 brush for this okay then what we're going to do is take this morphe e11 brush the angled brush that we kind of cut that with and I'm going to take this deep color and kind of press this into my lower lash line. Almost like a wing line. I mean, almost like an eyeliner effect. Now we're going to add it. We did all that, and this is so smoky and so pretty. OMG, I'm in, like, in love, and I haven't even added my lid color. Okay, so we're going to cut our crease a little bit. Or it's not actually cutting your crease. It's just really cleaning up your crease so that when your lid color goes on, it goes on neat. So I'm going to take a, what is this, a Makeup Geek, this is a foiled eyeshadow brush, but it's really just a really nice, thin, almost like a concealer brush, a concealer brush would work really well, or just an eyeshadow brush to pack on color, but it's thin. And I'm going to use that same concealer that I used to carve out my brow, and I'm going to use this to clean up my lid. So I'm taking a little bit of product. You want to do this a little bit at a time. And you're just going to outline your mobile eyelid. And I'm not going to take this all the way over because I don't want to undo that smoke we just did. So just like that. So you can still see that. And that allows me to blend as well. That doesn't have to be perfect. I'm really liking this. <laughs> um, I am going to set this again, taking my Real Techniques powder brush. A little bit of that Mer lower Mercier powder and this is going to help prevent transfer as well since I have a little bit of a hood there um, it's so minor and that's why it's like super annoying but I can get transfer if I don't set so now that that's done we're going to take a eyeshadow brush we're going to use this Morphe B70 brush and I'm gonna take this peachy color here which I just swatched there it's really pretty and we're going to take a morphe b70 brush and a little bit of an entire video and did not hit record that's sucky so all i did off camera was okay so let's talk first this look is pretty much done these are worth the money they're 27 dollars. you get nine shades together i think they are a good substitution for getting either the rose gold palette or the desert dust palette which i'm a fan of the desert dust palette but these two together are cheaper than getting both of those even one of them or both of them together definitely a good deal 
I'm in love with these. So to try out the Smoky Obsessions, because it's the only one I didn't use, I took the more, no, I took a, where's the brush, Melissa? I took the Smith 253 brush. It's a very thin, flat eyeshadow brush. And I took this black, which is super pigmented, dip the brush in and just added it to this outer V just to darken it and define it just a little bit. Then I took Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This brush normally is included in her palettes. Whenever you buy a palette, she includes these dual ended brushes. I'm not that much of a fan of this. I use it on occasion, but this blending brush is actually really good. So I just blended that out so it wasn't so harsh. A little bit, pull it forward just so it blends nicely. And oh my gosh, you guys, I love this look. It's completely unnecessary. I'm literally doing nothing. Um, I'm probably going to take it off as soon as I finish this because I am going to get my eyebrows done. But listen, this is freaking wonderful. Okay, we got to move on because I have to hurry. Okay, let's move on to skin. I'm going to cover up these acne scarrings because I'm feeling extra. Um, this is the Morphe M705 brush. It's just a flat concealer brush. I'm not going to color correct. I'm literally just going to conceal. And I want this to kind of mark out because I want this to be kind of blown out. That's why I went that far out with this color. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and blend this out. Lesson number one, move quickly and do one eye at a time because this crap died, dried down quick. Ooh, it looks like I have foundation on though. Ooh, that was good. I mean, conceal, boo. Conceal. So now what we're going to do is go into our foundation. I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the color Macau. This is medium deep four. I'm going to take the Morphe E31 brush and stipple this on my skin. Why, Melissa? Why? Why is this necessary? I'm in love. I'm happy I videoed this because I don't know if I'm going to remember it again. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to take the, it's a NARS day, apparently. I'm going to take the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Amande, and I'm going to use that same concealer brush that we used to conceal before I did my foundation. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath the areas that I want to conceal, or the underneath the areas that I want to highlight, which include underneath my eyes. Cupid's bow, chin, forehead, and down the bridge of my nose. And pull that in just a little bit because I am going to contour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just feel like if I'm going to be extra, I might as well go all out, right? I don't know if it's fall or extra season, but I'm feeling it. And to go with my season of extra, I'm only also going to take the NARS Cream and Concealer in the color Caramel, which on its own, I'm not a fan of. I think it's a little light for me, but mixing it, I do find that I like. So I just put a little bit right underneath my eye where I want to bring the most brightness. And then I'm going to take Imani Stick Foundation in the color Earth 7. And I'm going to use this to contour my nose. Um, then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and blend everything out. I love the beauty blender for blending out concealer. It is actually my favorite tool to use. It's actually probably the only tool that I use. I go, I do use brushes for my foundation. Depends on the mood that I'm in. But for concealer, I all. This is amazing. This looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't want to take it off. I need to go somewhere. Why does my skin look so amazing right now? My eyes look amazing. Everything looks amazing. I don't want to set this. I literally don't want to set this because if I mess it up, I'm going to be so mad. I curse this to oily skin. Curses. All right, to set, I have an attitude because I'm so angry. I'm gonna use this very dirty beauty uh, Real Technique sponge just because I'm about to throw it away. And we're gonna go right under the eye. This is the color Translucent. We're gonna do the forehead, Cupid's bow in. And I'm gonna do a little bit of reverse contouring. This 
this will help my contour stand out just a little bit more pretty naturally high cheekbones so i very rarely contour so when i do this i'm like really being extra and my shirt says it i've been saying it all day this is like so extra and completely unnecessary but that's how i'm feeling okay and i'm going to take the la bin nye luxury powder in the color I have no idea what color this is. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm going to take the same brush, dip it in there, and just go over the parts that I did not use the translucent powder. And again, I don't mind going over the parts that I did just so that everything blends nicely. I like using two powders because your skin is not one tone. And I just feel like when you go over it, it just makes everything look much more natural. And this like melt, it grabs into your skin. It just melts and it just really locks in your foundation all day. Um, I find that when I use this and I go to work, my foundation does not move at all. All right, to finish off the eyes, I have been loving this Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color Trooper. It's just black. I love this. I actually did go out and buy a full size version. I think it makes doing an uh, wing liner so easy for people that struggle like me. And it helps that I did that um, when I cut this earlier with this brush, um, the E11 brush, it kind of already has that line there. So it makes it a lot easier to follow. It takes kind of the guesswork out of it. There we go. This is bomb. This is so bomb. This is so bomb. I know people don't say bomb, but I'm saying bomb because this is bomb. Okay? This is bomb. I'm so pleased. These are bomb. Everything I use today has been bomb. Everything. I'm sorry. Just everything. So right. we're going to move on to lashes. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what style these are. I've just been using the same lashes over and over. You guys. You guys. This is so pretty. I don't think you understand how smoky and how beautiful this has turned out to be I think I'm obsessed with it because I'm kind of shocked that I did it I'm not gonna lie this whole technique that I did earlier is a technique I have been practicing and trying to perfect and I've been nervous to do it on camera and I just did it on camera and I feel like I like nailed it you guys don't understand. I'm not a makeup artist. I've not been professionally trained. I've been trained by the school of YouTube. I've just been watching YouTube for years and years and years, like literally. And that's how I learned how to do makeup. So whenever I see something, I just watch a gazillion tutorials on it and imagine myself doing it on my eye. And I kind of, I'll watch a video and kind of carve it out of my eye to see if, ooh, let me see if I could do this. If I were to do it, where would I go? and you guys this is like so freaking bomb all right time to wipe off this powder you think i baked long enough yeah okay i'm going to remove this powder i don't know why i'm using that brush with an elf kabuki brush then i'm going to take my mineralized skin finish in the color dark deep and kind of bring some warmth back to my face um i'm going to be using stubborn by mac it's this really pretty almost like a rose color and i'm using a morphe e3 brush i like this brush because it's pointed so it allows me to get precise blush application and then i'm going to use a lovejoy this is also a mineralized blush by mac but it kind of has this pink iridescent color. Let's use it as a blush topper instead of highlighting. I like using blush toppers instead of highlight because it kind of gives the same effect, but it's very light and it just gives your skin like a natural, see a very natural glow. It's not shiny, it's not glittery. It just really gives your skin a nice healthy glow. It's one of my favorite things. I used this in another video and it was literally life. I'm gonna use my Fix Plus spray spray my face and then we'll do lips i'm going to use the milani stay put eyeliner in hooked on espresso it's just a dark brown just to add a little bit of extra dimension and smoke on the bottom i'm going right in the inner water line I, I i don't know why i did all this this is completely unnecessary i told you guys i've been extra i'm literally going nowhere um but where i'm going it's going i'm just going to be like so over the top this is so unnecessary 
So I'm going to outline my lips in Current. This is a MAC lip liner. It is pretty purple. This is like a concoction. In my mind, it's gonna be cute, so pray. Then I'm going to take Slow Ride by NARS. And it's this kind of caramelly brown color. Ooh, I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna go over this one more time with this purple, because I don't wanna lose that. I do want this to be, I want everything to kind of flow and tie together. And this is actually pretty warm, and this purple will cool it down. Um, so it flows with the color scheme that I have on because this is pretty cool and this lip color is pretty warm So hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to use see-through by Mac Deandra hit me to this. It's just a creamy um, It almost has like a beige color on it But I'm going to use this as a topper because I don't want this to be matte I think I want it to be glossy and this almost has like an iridescent pearl sheen to it you guys This is perfection. I may go back and watch this again because this is pure. I, I'm, I'm loving this. Okay, so this is the final look. I am not going to do these braids any differently because they're still tight and I just did, had them done last night and they don't hurt. As a matter of fact, if you're getting your braids done and the lady is pulling your head and you have a headache and you have to take Advil, she's doing it wrong. She's going to ruin your edges. This girl did my braids and while they are secure, they are not tight. I could go to bed last night. I could lay my head down and it doesn't hurt. It was an achy. I have no issues none not a one so if your girl's doing your braids and you got a headache you got to get i'm telling you she's snatching your edges and not in a good way she's snatching them out okay she's snatching them out that's not good okay so anyway this is the full completed look of this very smoky roll i don't know if rose gold is the right word but it is smoky it's very um, I actually would say this is fall. It's not a, a look I would normally do for fall, but I'm in love, you guys. This is so amazing. Recap of the products that I've used. Um, these Huda Beauty Mini Obsession Palettes are everything if you are a makeup lover. And $50 on a palette is not up your alley. I recommend these highly. They're buttery. They're smooth. They blend it. I use colors from each of these palettes and it was amazing you can see this for yourself this looks so good in real life i'm loving the way it looked this outer v smoke is my new favorite thing in life everything i have on my eyes from these palettes everything and they're complete i would take one of these just like this to travel with it's nice it's compact it's small i would definitely use this and i could get transition colors out of this I could use get crease colors out of this and I can get a lid color these are wonderful um as far as my lips are concerned I love these NARS power matte lip pigment um this is the color slow ride this is a perfect brown girl nude um you always can tell a true nude if you don't have to use a lip liner it should just melt into your lips just as if it were your lips so you don't need a lip liner to kind of balance it out um i used a lip liner on this because this is a very warm brown it almost has like an orange tone to it orange is a warm color i have very cool tones on my eyes and my cheeks so I wanted to cool this down so everything flowed and went together. So that's the only reason why I use this um, Current Lip Liner by MAC. And this is purple, so it just cooled that down just a little bit so it ties together really nicely. I am in love with this. The NARS Foundation is my favorite thing right now. I've recently just reminded myself how much I love it. I don't have to mix it. I think the color is wonderful. It has a gold undertone. My skin, it just looks really good. This, I forgot how much I love this. Listen, listen, people. Watch this video and just write everything down that I use because I'm in love with it. Everything turned out wonderful, okay? That's all I have to say. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more makeup tutorials. I'll be back with some more encouragement. Um, I have another video that I'm kind of stewing. I may actually film it as to not waste this look uh, right after this. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you enjoyed it, if you'd like to see more. 
um, makeup tutorials. I will gladly do them. I am a makeup obsessed person. I have makeup everywhere. I have a channel with Deandra, but there's some things that I want to do on my own aside from that. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, so that's it. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. I am at Miss Kev on stage and that's it. Until the very next video, until I see you again, um, bye.